Hey guys, it's uh, Wiltshire12345 uh, showing you a PSP tutorial with custom firmware. Obviously, uh, how to back up your UMD disk so you don't have to carry these things around anymore. You just uh, go to your memory stick and uh, you click it and you play just like a normal UMD disk. Um, you can do this with the 2000 TA88 V3 motherboards and 3000s now with uh, Gen uh, Gen A uh, dash B or cu custom firmware enabler, which I prefer. Um, but I have the N33 uh, negative six flash. Um, I have the 2000, uh, not the TA88 motherboard though. Um, I've already inserted Crisis Core, and uh, what you're gonna do is you uh, you have to download UMD Dumper, which will be in the description. And this is what it'll look like. You're just gonna start it. No, no uh, PC is required uh, for this to uh, dump. It's just straight to memory card, which I really like. No use of the computer at all. It's uh, stress-free. It's a pretty basic program. Probably the easiest way to dump a UMD. Yeah, you can enable music just by toggling by square. Um, you can see uh, Crisis Core, it recognizes that it's Crisis Core. Um, what you're going to want to do is, uh, you can rename it if you want, uh, I won't. Um, uh, there's ISO and CSO mode. Uh, what CSO mode is, it compresses the file to smaller uh, file size, but um, it takes way longer, which I'm not going to do. This is just a video tutorial, uh, bas basic uh, step through through this program, so I'm just going to put ISO to make it go fast. You can change the speed from normal to high. I like high since it goes faster. You can play a mini game while playing, or while this is dumping. Um, after you selected your settings, you just press start dump. And um, if you want to toggle the debug information, just press circle. And if you ever have a problem, just copy that down, as you can see there. And uh, obviously you need enough room for the... Uh, UMD to fit or else it won't work. Um, if you want to quit, just press L plus R plus triangle at the same time. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead until this is done. Alright guys, it's uh, almost done. It's at about... Uh, Alright, it's done. It says dumping has finished. That's what it'll say when you're done. You just press circle. Uh, exit UMD dumper. It'll go back to your XMB. Alright, now you go to your memory card. And there it is. Complete with the sound, the pictures, the PMF, everything. It's the full game. If you want to play it, um, press select on the VHS menu. Go to, uh, UMD ISO mode and select either M33 driver or Sony. I go with M33 driver and it starts up like a normal game. going to show you guys that it really works, that I'm not spoofing you here. There we are. Just going to show you guys that it's not a video on the PSP. Press enter, load complete. I have completed the game, so it's going to ask me normal or hard mode. It's asking me right there. So, there you go. See, I'm moving. It's real. So, there you guys have it. You can also quit the game like normal. And that's how you guys back up a uh, UMD disk without uh, having these stupid things. It can be like the PSP Go, be all digital now. Just get a big memory card. Alright guys, see you later.